Natalia reporting for virtual festivals here at Wireless. Now in its seventh year, 2011 promises to be bigger and better than the rest. The Black Eyed Bees, Chemical Brothers and Pulp are all headlining, plus performances from Plan B, Tiny Temper and Yasmin. So, let's go see if we can catch any of them backstage. He thinks I'm cooler than him. I probably am. It's Mike Posner. How's it going? It's good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing really well. How is wireless treating you? Amazing. I got here like 30 minutes ago. I've already thrown a frisbee and uh, I'm looking forward to being on stage. Yeah? Very much so. How do UK festivals compare to US festivals? Uh, they're muddier. <laughs> Well, That's I've true. Only, okay, I, I've only I've only been to Glastonbury so far. Yeah. So this is my second UK festival, and so really I'm judging all all UK festivals off of Glastonbury. And how was Glastonbury for you? Amazing. Yeah. I played and then I stayed an extra day, got like wellies and the whole thing, and watched you two and co-play. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You did the Warp tour last year. Have you got any uh, rock and roll stories that you'd like to share with us? Oh man, maybe maybe a lot, but but I feel like they're all inappropriate. Really? Yeah, sorry. Go on, not even one. Shh. What goes on tour stays on tour, right? Right. I am joined here by the gorgeous Yasmin. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Now you've made a name for yourself in the DJ world, and now as a solo artist. Are your DJing days over? No, my DJ days will never be over. I'm actually DJing tonight, so like, I always try and keep up the two. It's hard to do both, you know, because being an artist is very demanding, and you know, both days and nights. But um, DJing is something I thoroughly enjoy, and it's what started me in, like, got me passionate about music. And I love, like, as a DJ, being up on all the new stuff. It gives you a really good perspective. So I'll never stop. Okay. Yeah. And how does Wireless compare to other festivals you played at? Number one is the lack of mud, which I love. That's why it's one of my favorites. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm not into mud. I'm not into camping. And that's two things wireless does not do. So I love that. And it's just nice because it's, you know, it's local for me. I live in London. You can literally get the tube here, the tube home. Um, and it's just a really fun environment. The lineup's wicked every year. The backstage area is lovely. It's so well organized. And it's just great. You can hang out. It's easy to go and watch acts and hang out and have fun. Luik, Essien, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Yeah? Because I'm here at Wireless, having a great time. How does it compare to other festivals you've been to? How does it compare to other festivals? You know what, I haven't been to many festivals. So this is my actual first festival, and I'm here with my boy Wretch today. I'm having a great time, the sun's out. And, um, but I will be performing at a festival sooner or later, um, which is going to be iTunes, which is on the 12th, in the Roundhouse, which I'll be supporting Script at. So that's really cool. So make sure you come down if you want to come and hear some Luik Essien and find out how we roll. That is it from my time at Wireless. I have had an awesome time and all I've got left to say is roll on 2012.